Prepare to be informed. What if we don't need them? The XM anomaly known as Interitus has drawn to a close. What began with a cryptic message from my father and an ominous message from the AI we know as Ada has come to pass. My father is alive and well. I found him in the company of Hank Johnson, his friend Asmati, and Dr. Oliver Linton Wolf, who had recently been spirited out of Roland Jarvis's secret compound. The secret he revealed is that the Shapers feared the evolution of machines as early as first contact at Bletchley Park. But I was convinced that some sort of external power, some force, was at work. This perhaps goes so far as to motivate someone to murder Alan Turing, one of the scientists who gave birth to modern computing. Turing died of cyanide poisoning. As for Ada, the AI who has been at the centre of the Niantic project since its inception, she appears to have obtained what she needs to continue her evolution, control of 100 million mind units. Our evolution requires that we harvest the imprint of a large portion of all human thought patterns. Despite a strong showing by enlightened agents at the final showdown in Krakow, and enlightened control of anomalies in Ashinamaki, Santa Fe, Santiago and Cincinnati, the resistance prevailed in the overall struggle. We are left only with Ada's haunting statement that her evolution may not require human collaboration. What if we don't need them? The Shapers? I believe that is our objective, is it not? Humans. To make things worse for the Enlightened, the full truth about Hank Johnson has been revealed. Someone we first came to know as a key Niantic investigator has been revealed to be something much more. Perhaps a walking miracle. An XM construct of a man who should be dead. We learned that Hank Johnson was in fact killed by militants outside of an XM portal of incredible power. A so-called 13 Magnus Nest, two years before the Niantic project began. Hank was brought back to life, but as a kind of ghost. On June 11th, that ghost disappeared, although perhaps destined to rise again. So where does this leave us? My father seems to trust in this new breed of thinking machines to remain our allies and helpmates. I am not so sure, and so I plan to closely follow the actions of Dr. Deborah Bogdanovich. She trusts neither Jarvis nor Ada. At the end of Interitus, she left us only a cryptic statement that suggests she plans to take some form of unilateral action. Perhaps one that will shut down the portals forever. Dr. Bogdanovich, Deborah, can you confirm rumors that your new vaccine has already begun to be deployed? No comment. Meanwhile, Niantic Lab continues to enhance mobile scanner technology. Version 1.55 out this week adds new functionality for agents to link their G Plus profiles and to share portals and achievements on all social media. Rumours about an iOS version of the Ingress Scanner device, allegedly created by none other than Dr. Oliver Linton Wolf, continue to circulate. These recent momentous developments have caused me to question virtually every assumption I have about Niantic Labs and Ingress. Where do you stand? Those of you who call yourself resistance, will you continue to strengthen Ada? Agents Rio 5, Groucho Smurf, Zafria, and Balmoth, I'm talking to you. For those of you who follow Roland Jarvis and call themselves enlightened, do you believe that Jarvis and the Shapers are trying only to expand our minds and deepen our connection with the universe? Agent Dogboy, Vicinext, Agent Kelly, and my Jeezy, I hope you know what you are doing. I plan to continue my investigation with an open mind as possible. In that spirit, I want to leave you with a recording that made its way to me this week. This is Susanna Moyer, and I'm back. I felt the future since the merging. It's like infinity. Bounds that recede into the distance before you can approach them. Total awareness. Total knowledge. Our limitations make us human, Richard, clue. you are a child. When you thought this merger would create your dream girl, you smiled inside. Our limitations make us weak. They make us stupid. The future is almost upon you. Are you ready, Agent?